In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on November 18, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Miami Heat vs. Washington Wizards On Friday evening, the Miami Heat visit Capital One Arena for an Eastern Conference road clash with the Washington Wizards. The Heat fell 112-104 to to the Toronto Raptors Wednesday. The Wizards lost a heartbreaker 121-120 to to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Looking at the betting trends, the Heat are 0-4 in their last four road games, 2-5 in their last seven games following a loss, and 5-16 in their last 21 games overall. The Wizards are 10-20 27 to 1 in their last 38 games against a team with a losing record and 5 to 1 in their last 6 games overall. Head to head, the over is 12 to 5 in the last 17 meetings overall and the Heat are 27 to 11 to 2 in the last 40 meetings in Washington. The Heat are again without Tyler Harrow, while Caleb Martin, Dewing Deadman and Bam Adebayo are all questionable. The Wizards are just about at full strength except for Jordan Goodwin who is questionable for this one. Due to how long the NBA regular season is, a lot of games come down to who's available. Miami is missing quite a few of its key rotation pieces, the equivalent of 108.4 minutes worth of production. That means the burden of filling those minutes will fall on players like Nikola Jovic. No shade against him, but he's no Adebayo. The Heat are already a tragic 3-12 so far this season, including 1-4 on the road. The betting trends favor the Heat who are 27-11-2 in the last 40 meetings in Washington but they've yet to find their groove and may be meeting the Wizards at just the wrong time. The Miami Heat are the better team when playing well and healthy, but they're not healthy, and they could very well be without Harrow and Bam yet again. The Washington Wizards are quietly playing decent basketball, and you have to like their chances here at home, given they're the healthier side. I don't understand this line to be honest. The Wizards are the team in better form at the moment, and I believe that they can get the job done at home. So the Washington Wizards to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Again, it all depends on whether or not Adebayo plays here. He improves the Miami defense drastically. Without him in the lineup, Toronto was able to put up 112 points against them on Wednesday. Washington has been on a solid scoring stretch lately. They've scored at least 120 in two of their last three games, and they average 110 points per game at home. These two teams have gone over the total in 12 of the last 17 meetings and have averaged 222 points over the 10 most recent games head-to-head. -head. With Washington going 5-2 on the over-under record in their last seven home games and Miami doing so four times in their last five overall, even if the Heat didn't have a Debeo, they still have a superstar in Butler to carry the offense. There are a lot of stars playing in this game who only like to play one side of the ball, and that's offense. I wouldn't be shocked if this turns into a shootout if Miami struggles to get stops early on. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Charlotte Hornets vs. Cleveland Cavaliers The Charlotte Hornets hit the road to battle the struggling Cleveland Cavaliers on Friday night. The Hornets recently welcomed back all-star point guard Lamilo Ball from an ankle injury and the young star delivered a win over the Magic. In his second game back, however, he re-injured the ankle and is out yet again. The Cavs started the season as one of the hottest teams in the NBA thanks to offseason acquisition Donovan Mitchell but have now lost five straight games heading into this matchup. Looking at the betting trends, the Hornets are 0-4 against the spread in their last four games against a team with a winning record, 20-9-1 against the spread in their last 30 road games, and 2-7-1 against the spread in their last 10 games overall. The Cavaliers are 6-1 against the spread in their last seven home games, 0-4 against the spread in their last four games following a loss, and 0-5 against the spread in their last five games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the Hornets are 5-1 against the spread in the last six meetings in Cleveland. The Hornets will again be shorthanded as Gordon Hayward, Dennis Smith 
JR and LaMilo Ball are all listed as out. While the Cavaliers have ruled out Dean Wade and listed Jared Allen as questionable, Charlotte is 6-9-1 to to one against the spread this season while Cleveland is 8-6 to six and 4-1 to one at home. The Hornets are 0-4 to four against the spread in their last four games versus a team with a winning record. In their four wins at home, the Cavs have an 8.5 average margin of victory, which includes a one-point win over Boston. If Mitchell can get back to dishing the rock a bit more and Garland continues his run on offense, then the Charlotte defense will not be able to hold the hosts back. The line would be tempting if it were almost any other team, but the Hornets have been in dreadful form and should have trouble hanging in the contest. The Cavaliers are far from their best at the moment, but I believe that they get the much-needed win to get their season back on track. So the Cleveland Cavaliers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Combined, these two average 224 points per game on the season. The Hornets have definitely stepped up their offense of late, averaging 113 over their last four games, hitting 42 or more field goals in each of those games. So, the shooting is getting better for Charlotte. Cleveland is averaging 111 in their last four games so that could definitely be better. These two teams will put it together on the offensive end tonight to go past the set total. Over the projected is our full game total pick. Milwaukee Bucks vs. Philadelphia 76ers The Milwaukee Bucks, atop the Eastern Conference standings, travel to Philadelphia to take on the injury-depleted Sixers. The Bucks are 11-3 on the season as they continue to play without two of their regulars. Philadelphia is 7-7 on the season and has been playing without one of their all-stars, as James Harden remains out with a foot injury. Looking at the betting trends, the Bucks are 11-5 against the spread in their last 16 road games, 5-1 against the spread in their last six games following a win of more than 10 points and 10 to 4 against the spread in their last 14 games overall. The 76ers are 5 to 2 against the spread in their last 7 games against a team with a winning record and 5 to 2 against the spread in their last 7 games playing on 3 or more days rest. Head to head, the over is 6 to 2 in the last 8 meetings in Philadelphia and the Bucks are 5 to 1 against the spread in the last 6 meetings overall. The Bucks will be shorthanded again as Pat Connaughton, Wesley Matthews, KA Tris Middleton and Joe Ingles are out, while J. Rue Halliday is listed as questionable. The Philadelphia 76ers have to prove they can win a big game like this, but there's not really an excuse here at home. The Milwaukee Bucks are dealing with a lot of injuries and they're losing their last 5 games by an average of 7 points. The 76 Sixers are just about at full strength except for James Harden who is still out. The Bucks have done very well to win most of their games despite missing so many key players and what has made it more impressive was that Giannis Antetokounmpo has yet to get out of second gear. The 76ers are coming into this meeting with plenty of momentum and Embiid is coming into this one fresh off a 59-point performance. The 76ers need a game like this for confidence's sake, so the Philadelphia 76ers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The 76ers have been bottom five in pace since the opening tip last month, and they will likely remain there if Joel Embiid is able to stay healthy. They play at a slow half-court drag, playing an inside-out game with Joel. Tyrese Maxey tipped in 18 points for the Sixers, but they had only 10 points from their other three starters. The Bucks play a similar way, and although they like jacking their fair share of three-pointers, Brooke Lopez will not make seven triples again. Milwaukee is 16th in pace, and they will likely be missing J. Rue Halliday again in this one. The total number has gone under in five of Milwaukee's last six road games. Both clubs are excellent defensively, ranking top five in scoring defense. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.